Tokyo is home to one of the most advanced rail systems on Earth. Every day, over 40 million people rely on its trains. It's fast, reliable, and remarkably efficient. But in 2010, a team of scientists made a discovery that flipped everything we thought we knew about urban design. A fungus with no brain, no blueprint, and no engineers managed to recreate Tokyo's rail network almost perfectly. This shows us something profound. Nature might be better at designing complex systems than we are. Designing a rail system isn't just about laying down tracks. It's about shaping how people and goods move, every second, every mile, every day. In the 1800s, during America's Great Railroad Race, two strategies emerged. One approach was to lay lines as fast as possible, cutting corners to beat the competition. The other, led by figures like Jay Gold, focused on optimizing routes, choosing the smoothest gradients, the shortest paths, and the most cost-effective curves. Gold understood something most didn't. You don't design a railroad for the day it opens. You design it for the millions of trips it will serve over decades. Quick, sloppy routes save time at first, but over time, they waste it. They cost more to maintain, slow down travel, and bleed efficiency with every train that runs. That's why, in modern cities like Tokyo, planners spend decades perfecting every junction and connection, balancing cost, speed, and resilience. And yet, in a quiet lab in Japan, a simple fungus did it in just a few days. No politics, no committees, just nature, solving for efficiency. In 2010, Japanese researcher Atsushi Taro and his team at Hokkaido University conducted a fascinating experiment. They wanted to know, could a slime mold, a single-celled organism, solve the same complex problems that transportation engineers face? Here's how they tested it. They recreated a map of Greater Tokyo using a round petri dish filled with agar, a gel that the mold could move across. Then, they placed oat flakes, the slime mold's favorite food, at the locations of major cities in the region, Tokyo, Yokohama, Chiba, and others. At the center, they introduced Physarum polycephalum, a yellow slime mold known for building nutrient transport networks. At first, the mold spread outward in all directions, blindly exploring. But over time, it started to prune its connections. It kept the most efficient routes. It eliminated unnecessary branches. The final network it formed, completely on its own, was nearly identical to Tokyo's actual rail system. It was short, connected, and had built-in redundancy. It even avoided obstacles, just as rail lines avoid mountains and bodies of water all without a brain. This experiment wasn't just cool, it was revolutionary. It proved that nature, through evolution, has already solved many of the same problems we face in engineering and design. The slime mold built a network that was minimal in total length, saving resources, efficient in travel time, and fault tolerant, meaning it could handle disruptions without breaking down. This is biomimicry, learning from nature to solve human problems. And it's not limited to fungi. We've modeled airflow systems after termite mounds, medical surfaces after shark skin, and even Japan's bullet trains after the beak of a kingfisher. Nature has had 3.8 billion years of research and development. We're just starting to catch up. If a blob of slime can teach us how to design better railroads, what else might be out there? Every forest, fungus, and living system could hold blueprints for solving our biggest challenges in energy, architecture, even medicine. But many of these systems are disappearing we are burning through ecosystems faster than we can study them. Every time a species vanishes, we don't just lose beauty, we lose ideas. We lose intelligence we haven't even discovered yet. If we want future generations to keep learning from nature's genius, we have to protect what's left. Preserving biodiversity isn't just an environmental issue, it's a design issue, a survival issue. A brainless fungus mapped out Tokyo's railway system with a remarkable precision. Not by force, not by code just by doing what nature does best, solving problems efficiently. That's the lesson. The systems we're trying to build already exist in forests, rivers, fungi, and flocks. We just have to look more closely. Nature isn't just something to admire. It's something to learn from. Let's keep it around so we can keep learning. If this story inspired you, give it a like and subscribe to Forever Green. Thanks for watching.